Good morning, students. Welcome to this session. We are going to deal with relative motion in today's class. That is, we have to know what is meant by relative motion and how we are going to apply that one for various situations. Okay. First, we have to know what is meant by relative motion. That is, the motion with respect to other body which is also in motion is called as relative motion. Suppose, if you take the <coughs> velocity of body A with respect to ground as VA G, then the second one is velocity of other body B with respect to ground is V B G, then the relative velocity of A with respect to B, that is when compared to B, what is the velocity of A? is given by velocity of A with respect to ground minus velocity of B with respect to ground. Both are we have to take repertory. Okay. Now we see how it is going to take place. First we take the velocity of A with respect to ground. Then second we have to take velocity of B with respect to ground. Now to take this one as minus V B with respect to ground, we have to reverse this direction. We have to reverse this direction. Yes. And we add this. This is the velocity of V with respect to B. By reversing this direction, that is minus V, we have to add to B. Then this is called as the relative velocity of A with respect to B. Okay. We are going to apply this one to some problems now. Okay. Now we take up a problem here. See, to the captain of a ship A traveling with velocity given by V A is equal to three i minus four j kilometers per hour. A second ship appears to have a velocity 5 i plus 12 j kilometers per hour. Then, what is the true velocity of ship B? That is, we are having the velocity of A and they have given the velocity of A is 3 i minus 4 j and they have given the velocity of ship B with respect to Captain of ship A traveling, that is with respect to A, B is having this much of velocity. That is, this is the relative velocity of B with respect to A. It is given. Then, what is the velocity of the ship? We have to find the true velocity of the ship. Now, here we know this one. Velocity of B with respect to A is written as VBA. This is equal to VB minus VA. That is, we have to subtract VA minus from VB. Okay. Then, from this one, we can write VB as this is equal to this plus this. Relative velocity of B with respect to A plus velocity of A. Then, Relative velocity of B with respect to A is 5i plus 12j kilometers per hour plus A is this one 3i minus 4j. Then adding those to 5 plus 3, 8i, 12 minus 4j, 8j plus 8j, that is 8 into i plus kilometer per hour. Okay, this is the true velocity of ship B. Okay. Now see another problem. Second, a boat is moving with a velocity 3 i plus 4 j with respect to ground. The water in the river is flowing with a velocity minus 3 i minus 4 j with respect to ground. The velocity of the boat relative to the water is that is they have given. 
velocity of boat with respect to ground and velocity of water with respect to ground okay they are asking to find the <coughs> velocity of boat with respect to water that is with respect to ground they have given two quantities and they are asking they are asking about the velocity of boat with respect to water it is velocity of sea here velocity of boat with respect to ground is this one velocity of water with respect to ground is this one that is here <coughs> two quantities are given we have to find velocity of boat with respect to water okay now by just using this formula velocity of boat with respect to water is equal to velocity of boat with respect to ground minus velocity of water with respect to ground then subtracting this one from this one 3a plus 4j minus of minus 3a minus 4j plus 6a plus kg this is the velocity of boat with respect to water okay now next problem third one a car a moves due north at a speed of 40 km per hour while another car b moves due east at a speed of 30 km per hour find the velocity of car b relative to car a both in magnitude and direction first they have given car a is moving with a speed of 40 km per hour is called it is moving in generally we have the directions on paper like this top most now bottom most south right side east and left side west the car is traveling with some velocity in north direction okay another car moves in the east direction with this 30 km per hour velocity what we have to find the velocity of car with respect to what is the velocity of car b with respect to is we are having velocity of car velocity of car b car a then velocity of car b in respect to a we have to find this one for this one we know simple formula velocity of car b minus velocity of car a and by seeing this one they are at 90 degrees perpendicular to each other the result is simple Since this is a, this is perpendicular, we be uh, mod we be square plus mod p square under root, root of 30 square plus 40 square, that comes to be 50, 34. These are the sides of the right angle triangle. That's why we can easily identify this one as 50 kilometer per hour. Now the direction. Coming to the direction, first we have to draw this one. Velocity of car. Then minus velocity of car. Then the, as the problem is started from A, we have to give the direction with respect to A. That is along this one. Okay. But here, from this direction, okay, it is going to go this. Way. Then by seeing this triangle again, it is a right angle triangle. Okay, opposite side. Then alpha is equal to BB by P. Then we get. Alpha is equal to tan inverse of BB three by four. The direction is east or south. From south it is going to east direction. The direction is towards east from south or east or south. From south towards east. Okay. This is how we have to solve this problem. We have to have an idea regarding the diagram as well as the magnitudes. Okay. And the simplification. Okay. Next problem is a car is going south with a speed of five meter per second. To a man sitting in car, a bus appears to move towards west with a speed of 
टू रूट सिक्स मीटर पर सेकेंड वॉट इज दूल स्पीड ऑफ बस दट इज ए मैन सिटिंग इन ए कार बस लाइक दिस ओके A car is going like this south. To a man sitting in this one, it is a b. That is velocity of relative velocity of b with respect to this one. This person or car is like this. We have to find what is the actual speed of the bus. Okay. Now velocity of car is given. Velocity of bus with respect to car is given. It is Going towards south is going towards west. That is, this relative velocity is towards west. Now we have to calculate this one. Okay. Then see relative velocity of b with respect to c is v b minus v c. And in from this one we can write velocity of this bus is equal to relative velocity of bus with respect to car plus velocity of car. Then, as they are at 90 degrees, we have a simplification here. This square plus this square. This square means 4 into 6 plus that is 7 meter per second. If they ask velocity, then we have to be this one. Okay, it is 7 meter per second. Okay. Next, a flag is mounted on a car moving due north with velocity of 20 km per hour. Strong winds are blowing due east with velocity of 20 km per hour. The flag will point in which direction? Okay. Here, velocity of car is given and velocity of wind is given. It is a simple case because the velocities are equal. They are perpendicular to each other. Velocity of car and velocity of wind. We have to find the direction of flag. That is, we have to find the velocity of wind with respect to car. That is, it will be along the direction of wind. Okay. Velocity of wind minus velocity of car. We get twenty root two as they are perpendicular to each other. Twenty twenty root two. Okay. Then direction is. Okay, as the velocity of car is given first, we will take this direction as the first direction. Then it is tan inverse of car, 20 by 20, that is 1, that is 45 degrees. Okay, uh, this we get 45 degrees. Tan one is that is southeast direction. Okay. 